The world of insulation can be a confusing place with the likes of down, hydrophobic down and synthetic insulation. Understanding the differences between all of these is the first step to choosing the right jacket for you. So first off we'll talk about down. So here I've got two types of down. We've got traditional down which is awesome in really cold dry environments and then we've got hydrophobic down which has been given a waterproof treatment which makes it ideal for use in the UK and I'll show you why now. So we'll get some, uh, some of the traditional down into uh, my little beaker and then we'll get some hydrophobic down into the other one. Get some water into both of them. We start off with the uh, traditional down. So I mean you can see straight away after no time at all it's gone into sort of a mushy pulp. So I'll have a look at the hydrophobic down. Shut the lids on. We'll give that a good shake. So I mean you can see straight away there that uh, all the down sitting on top of the water it's just not being absorbed at all. It's still lofting, it's still really fluffy. It's just nowhere near as sensitive to water as, as traditional down, so it's going to give you loads of insulation, even, uh, even if it's really poor conditions outside or even if you're sweating quite a lot as well. That's really impressive. So synthetic insulation works slightly differently, but like hydrophobic down, it still keeps its lofting even when it's soaking wet. So it comes in a few different forms, like Polartec Alpha, um, so that's designed as a, an active insulation, so when you're moving really quickly in the hills it's incredibly breathable so that you don't overheat, but then when you're standing still it gives you lots of insulation and keeps you nice and warm. Then we've got other synthetic insulations like Primaloft, which is designed as a static insulation, uh, so it keeps you really warm just like a down jacket, but it's not as sensitive to the water. So generally down jackets come in two types of construction. So we've got micro baffle, just like this one. Uh, so the great thing with micro baffles is the baffles are much thinner. Um, so they don't get compressed when you're using it as a mid layer underneath a waterproof jacket. Uh, and then we also have the standard baffle construction, which tend to be much thicker. You can fit a lot more down inside the baffles. So they tend to be a lot warmer. Um, and then we also have box wall construction, which tends to be used in down suits for 8,000 meter peak summits. Uh, and for Arctic expeditions as well. So if you need any extra information on any of the jackets, then you can have a look on the website, there's loads of information on there, or you can pop into your local store and talk to some of our staff about it. <laughs>